Hello from Andersonville National Historic Site, also known as the Andersonville Civil War Prison. We're going to be activating this park at 0799 on the Parks on the Air. We are in the in the area by the picnic area, so that's what we're going to try to set up today. And we actually have two operators, N4 EKB and AE4XO. So we're going to try to do a dual park activation. I'm going to try to do some digital. Kelly's going to be on, on sideband. So um, hopefully it'll go good. And thanks for joining us today. November 4, Echo Kilo Bravo, park number Kilo 0799. Kilo India 5 station, um, I've got a neighbor that is um, really noisy <laughs> this morning. Could you try again, please? Kilo India 5 Uniform Oscar Delta QSL. So what I have here is the ICOM 7300. I have it set up for digital at home. So I thought I'd try digital today as uh, N4 EKB is over there on the sideband. And so we just have the uh, digital pack 10 running. Uh, it's uh, running backwards today, but um, but I got the antenna on the on the pole there and it's tied over to a tree so we're coming into the cemetery part of the andersonville national historic site we have two sections to this cemetery there's the section for the civil war dead that's here and then the national cemetery which is an active cemetery for uh, military and their spouses there's a uh, there's cemetery from the from the Civil War on both sides and then when you get to the more spread out headstones then those are the ones that are for the current and recent people My parents are over here on this section, in this section by the rotunda, and so uh, that's where they are. It's a beautiful place. It's a nice place to activate a park. There's plenty of areas around the park as well. Not necessarily in the cemetery, but the park area is definitely nice to be able to activate. At any rate, after the prison was uh, was discovered and they ended the war. The cemetery was created 
and all these people were laid to rest. Bookkeeping was very, very difficult back then, I think. And it's amazing that they were able to match the names with uh, where the people were uh, buried. They put him in. They put him in a mass grave type of scenario, but they did manage to put the headstones there. So that's that's good. Coming out to the main prison site. It's a, it's coming out to the main prison site is a place that you really should you really should come if you're here you really can't miss the you can't really miss this area um, you need to see the size of the prison and remember how many people were in it it was severely overcrowded they had no, no food, no clothing, no shelter. This little piece at the bottom of the hill here marks where the only water source was for the entire camp. Uh, other than uh, maybe a well or something if they, they dug one. But, um, but this, was a, this was a spring. Uh, that's why they chose this area the water flowing down a little bit there but it was a spring that was the only water source for the, for the whole up day. here you can see a better perspective of the camp this is where the hospital was located so you can see it wasn't a very large place for so many people it wasn't it wasn't a gigantic area you know to have so many people in in it they do is they have this area here in the corner kind of show you what their beds or their tents look like that sort of thing and how high the fence was uh, they had the gallows there and uh, you know, prisoners misbehave I guess uh, but then they also uh, show how high the fence was is your tour of Andersonville. I hope you can activate the park sometime. It's a it's a really really nicely well done park. And the uh, the area with the picnic picnic area that's where we were. So 73s A4XO